Morning guys, just getting ripped. Morning number one in Boracay. It's actually a pretty good morning. Got up early, got a bunch of work done at the coffee shop, then had breakfast and done a, got a bunch of editing done. And now we're just gonna go explore Boracay. We're at the end of, or I think we're at the middle of station three. Boracay Beach, like the popular area, has three stations. Station one, two, and three. Station one um, ha is where it kind of like, it's more high end, have all the hotels. Station two is kind of like a little more happening where all the party is. And then station three is like a little bit more quieter. Um, all in all, the, the station three to one along the beach is about two kilometers, so it's not that far, pretty small. Uh, we're gonna go explore it now and see what it's like. Oh, they also gave us these super cool Coog shell necklaces. So if you're wondering where I got this super awesome and super sweet necklace, that's where, our place. We're staying in a place called Boracay, or Surf, Surf Resort and Spa Boracay. I don't know where we're staying. We're staying, it's, I, I gotta figure that out. Snoozer one. Snoozer two. I'm ready to go. It's funny, on Boracay, we're used to drinking pretty cheap beers and food's pretty relatively inexpensive, but everything's just a bit more expensive on Boracay, but they price it out for like the two for one deal. So beers are usually, I don't know, 50 or 60 pesos, which is a little over a dollar. Canadian or US and on Boracay they're about a hundred pesos but it's always two for one um, it's pretty funny anyways check out this view and check out Boracay I put a different one in. on Boracay with the drone and I'm still having this issue where the connection the playback connection to my phone gets all glitchy so it's like flying in freeze frame and so um, basically you have two connections with the drone you have a connection with the controller and the drone that dictates the actual movement of the drone and you can fly that with iSet you don't actually need a video playback of what you're seeing however if you're gonna be flying further far enough away far enough away that you need to be seeing what you're wanting to be shooting. Then you need a strong connection with um, the transmission, which is with the iPhone. Now I've been having this issue where my transmission signal keeps on getting glitched out and freeze frame, which makes flying the drone very difficult because at distances over 250 meters away, 
if you can't see what you're shooting, you can't really fly the drone effectively. So guys, we've just been chilling at the beach for the last few hours. It's been really nice to just relax. And now we're on our way to explore Borkai and find some food. Borkai is a, it's a really touristed spot. There's lots of local tourists here. Uh, it is Filipino summer, so it's just kind of wrapping up. They have their summer from May and June, and Borkai is a pretty hot spot for everyone to come to. This one quick. Niggy, niggy, new snooze, new, 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 new. <laughs> Got it. Johnny. All right, we finally made it to Johnny Rockets. It's a little diner on station one or two, or somewhere in between. And we're here for the burgers. We got home last night at 4 a.m. and I had a call at 7. So I got about two and a bit hours of sleep and then I was up for the call. And I've just been working and trying to edit. One of our vlogs that we're putting up right now is it's about 15 minutes and it won't export. So I'm pretty annoyed about that situation. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to do for lunch right now. There's a place right next door to us. It's an American Mexican restaurant, so obviously we're going to gravitate towards the Mexican cuisine. And then we're going to go do a couple things later this afternoon. We're going to go helmet diving potentially, and maybe on a sailboat potentially. And then I think we're going to hit up a pub crawl. You're not going on a pub crawl. <laughs> Alright, we're not going on a pub crawl. We're at this place, our favorite bar, uh, old bar last night, and we got a tower of mojitos. Um, and I'd say I'd give it about like a six and a half out of ten. It kind of just tasted like sugar water after the first few glasses. But I was sucking back lychee margaritas like that it was an endangered fruit or something. Good afternoon, guys. Had a very nice and relaxing day in Borkai today. Just pretty much slept and worked. Uh, it was very chill. It's a lot less windy today, so it's really nice. Just gonna go to the beach, set up a little time lapse, and if it's not too windy, see if we can fly the drone. Just had a minor camera issue. Somehow there was a little bit of water drop on the actual sensor of the lens. So I was getting this stupid little black dot on all my photos I was taking. It's so annoying. So I took some good photos last night and today as the sunset was going out and it looks like there's a little moon or something setting in the horizon, so that's pretty annoying. But... Oh 
This is the Boracay White Beach. It is bumping. As you can see, there's people everywhere. I'm actually heading down to see if I can get one of these sailboats for a little sunset cruise. I have no idea um, what kind of the deal is, but you see tons of people all heading out on these sailboats. Get a little life jacket and go for a little sunset cruise. So, who knows? Maybe that's something we're gonna be doing shortly. So many people. Such crazy lights here in Barca. Yesterday there was the most amazing sunset right over there. And then right beside it, it was just pissing rain. Um, it was kind of a contrast of skies I've never seen before. And you're almost having that again as well. You can see kind of sunset beautiful here. And then you have this like crazy rain cloud about to drop down. Down. 800 pesos for 30 minutes on the boat. So now I'm back seeing if people want to do it.